Hello, my friends. I am Paymon Mutahede, the president of Freedom Law School, which I created in 1996. In this very short presentation, I'll show you how you employers can pay zero payroll taxes and stop withholding from the pay of your employees legally and safely. If you've not been to our website at livefreenow.org, you want to go there first to take the seven steps to live free now a virus deception robbery and slavery step one is based on u.s government's official legal websites no law requires 99 percent of americans to file income tax but here we're going to talk about tonight about withholding so if you want to see that here we go what you understand is this for the purpose for payroll taxes the united states means Puerto rico virgin islands guam and America Samoa, not the 50 states. That what? That's incredible, Paymon. United States does not mean the 50 states? No, not for federal pay tax purposes in the tax law as published by US government. Here it is, folks. This is Internal Revenue Code. This is the federal tax laws. This is the Bible of the IRS they have to go by. Congress of the United States wrote this with all the tiny font tissue thin paper yes we're gonna go see this online where i just claimed from you from u.s house of representatives official lawyers website they're gonna prove all this to you here it is folks yep you see here it is title 26 internal new code from uscode.house.gov okay and here this is subtitle c employment taxes chapter 21 federal insurance Contributions Act, subchapter C, general provisions. Now you think these general provisions apply to the 50 states? No, it does not. Okay, here in section 3121, definitions are very key to understanding these laws. Let's go down further to 3121, down to E. You have to scroll down quite a bit and check this out, folks. This is just the most amazing thing. E state united states and citizen for the purposes of this chapter what chapter are they talking about oh chapter 21 federal insurance contributions act fica for short right for fica purposes let's go back okay the term state includes the district of columbia the commonwealth of puerto rico Virgin Islands, Guam, and American Samoa. Yeah, not the 50 states. Look at the term United States. When used in a geographical sense, it includes the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, Guam, and American Samoa. Notice that the District of Columbia is listed as a state, not as a part of the United States. The United States does not include the District of Columbia. These are specific definitions we have to go by. Supreme Court has told us to us repeatedly. Okay, these are very critical okay, things we gotta go through. Okay, here it is from Supreme Court's website. Stenberg versus Carhart is a 2000 Supreme Court definition case. Okay, it tells us that when a statute includes an explicit definition, we must follow that even if it varies from that term's ordinary meaning. So we gotta go by that specific definition, folks. So that means that United States in FICA, in these employment tax law, means only these four island US territories. Yep, the state only has District of Columbia added to it. The whole thing doesn't apply to you folks. But listen, I don't have the time to give you all that detail right now in this short presentation. You really want to understand this, don't you? So, go the link in the video below. The full video, the link is in the description below. Click on that full presentation, and that will get you into this a lot more detail and fully so you understand it. I just gave you enough to let you see, wow. You've been lied to. 
So to be free, yourself and your employees and your company, be much more profitable and, and competitive, not to be slave. Watch the video in the description below and start freeing your company and your employees of slavery now. And Freedom Law School is a solution for it called the Employer Freedom Plan. But check it out in the video below.